you know, well, it, was, it, it came down to the end of the scrimmage. We were in, in uh, second and seven situations, and uh, the offense came out there and, uh, and, and tied it up, and then it came down to uh, a series where if the defense won that second and seven series, then they would have the game uh, clinched. You know, so I think it was 29-30 or 31-30. It came down to a point difference, but it was, a, it was fun. Uh, was really pleased uh, with what I saw our young offensive linemen do. We have, I don't know, maybe close to 20 people out for practice today. And uh, we were, we were kind of losing them throughout the course of the day. You know, one guy got a stomach virus and one guy had migraines, you know, so we ended up losing a couple more uh, guys. We started off this morning with uh, 10 guys out uh, on offense and I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them starters. And then I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, guys out on defense and a couple of those guys being starters. So a lot of our starters not out there, but was really pleased to see our young offensive linemen go out there and play and, and compete and give our, our offense a chance to win. I was uh, surprised that uh, the defense didn't have a bigger lead. I wish they would have started off a little bit faster. They got the, uh, the tempo and the intensity picked up as the scrimmage went on. But it was all said and done. It was a heck of a day. It came down in the end uh, to uh, taking care of the football. The defense had four takeaways, or the offense had four turnovers, depending upon how you look at it. But that was the marginal difference in the game. And uh, even in the end, if the offense uh, could have made a few more plays, you, you probably don't deserve to win if you turn it over four times. You know, So it, it boiled down to ball security. And a couple of penalties that backed the offense up a little bit and gave them some uh, long yard situations. We have to be a more disciplined football team. We had way too many penalties last year. We're doing some things in practice, I think, that's going to help us become a more disciplined football team, but it boiled down to ball security and a couple of mistakes. And then a couple of uh, uh, tough calls when you're, when you're protecting your quarterback. You, know, you don't know if forward motion would get him a first down or not, mm -hmm. but when you protect him, you protect him. So we had a couple of tough spots uh, for the offense, but it came right down the wire. A fun day. Uh, we, we give them tomorrow off. They're going to get up in the morning and come over. We have poster day. They come over and get some of the new posters and take them out in the community and drop them off and get to know some of the the local business people, and that's a lot of fun. And, and the local business people really appreciate that. But they, we won't practice uh, Saturday nor Sunday, and we'll come back Monday and get it on. Were there turnovers that split up, fumbles, interceptions, or weren't all? Uh, of them? I think there was three picks and maybe one fumble. Okay. I think that's how it turned out. One of them, the, the, before the ball carrier could get on the ground, one of the big defensive linemen reached around and ripped it out. So we got we got to secure the football better. But I saw him; he really ripped it out. You know, <laughs> so. It was, it was been tough to hang on to. But if, if you could name an MVP on the defense today, who would it be? Oh, that's tough without looking at the film. It'd be really tough. Uh, that'd probably be somebody in the secondary. I thought we broke up some passes and then had some picks. You know, I saw Frankie Williams make some big plays back there. I saw Ricardo make some big plays. I saw Josh, you know, making plays. I, I think the difference maker was was probably pass defense in the back half. I thought that our offensive line protected the quarterback pretty decent to have a lot of our. Uh, young guys in there, guys that haven't played a whole lot. Uh, well, I think we have three starting offensive linemen out, but I really like some of our young offensive linemen, not just their uh, performance, but the way that they've, uh, how much they've improved. Our football team has improved a lot uh, since the end of the season, and it's really evident the, uh, the benefits of the bowl practices. They are, they're much further ahead as a football team right now than they have been at any point in time since I've been back here. So I'm really encouraged by it. Speaking of the defense, how is Sean handling taking hits? Is he getting used to it just yet? Sean Robinson? Yeah. Giving hits. <laughs> giving hits on defense. You're not taking hits okay, on defense. You're giving hits on defense. Well, he said he's feeling a little, little sore. Well, he's not used to it. You know, he's not used to getting hit so much in practice. But uh, I think he looks really good. He's, he's aggressive and he's smart. The other defensive players really like him over there. He brings some things to the table over there. Uh, from a present standpoint, you know, he's into it. He's an, he's a, he's an aggressive guy. He's a manly guy. Uh, I think he's done very well. He's, done, he's picked it up a lot faster than I thought he would, particularly for a guy that hasn't ever played over there. So I'm really pleased with him. He can certainly help us uh, next year as a defensive player, no question about it. Who are your big change quarterbacks today? We start off with Taylor, and but both quarterbacks got some reps with the ones. Kenny and Robert, mm -hmm. and they both played. Did, mm -hmm. did Henry do anything in that no. kind of situation? No, we're keeping uh, Henry out. He's, he's, you know, he's still weak. It's not ready yet. Mm -hmm. He's going to be fine. We have some things that he does on the side 
that uh, has some transfer of training, you know, to the quarterback position. He does those in practice, but we're not going to take any chances with him. He was very important to us, and he can really make a difference for our football team next year. So it would be crazy to get him hurt out here in the spring. Uh, I really like what I'm seeing out of our quarterbacks. So we have two really good quarterbacks, and, and both those guys have, are doing very well. They, they have really improved. Both of them have. Uh, Caleb, you know, he's out here, and he looks like a confident quarterback, a quarterback that's won, a quarterback that's won a bowl game. He's getting the ball out of his hand really fast. He doesn't make many mistakes. Uh, Robert has really improved. He's getting the ball out of his hand in a hurry. He's, he's throwing it excellent, excellent passes out here in practice. He's he's managing the off, managing the offense a lot better. You know, so both of those guys are doing very well. Very pleased with them. Was there a player or two that you really wanted to see today, and how they would perform in in the scrimmage situation? All of them. Realistically, all of them. We'll put the film on and see and, and grade them. It was a very important scrimmage for us, as, as, as an important scrimmage as we have all spring long. At the quarterback position, is there a front runner right now? Or are you just waiting until the fall and let him kind of go through it to make a decision in regards to his play at the receiving end? Mm -hmm. All that? <laughs> We're still having competition. Are you going to be eating steak with the defense or beans with the offense? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I'll be eating beans, you know, because. Uh, <laughs> I have two teams, and I'm responsible for both of them. And uh, if I had to coach that offensive team better, they'd be eating steaks. So I'll be eating beans for the offense. Okay. Are you kicking at all? I mean, like field goals? Mm -hmm. Are you working on field mm -hmm. goal kicks and kickoffs? Yeah. Who's doing that? We have a couple of guys. Uh, uh, you know, Sam McCarthy from down the road here, and we had a, a young man that walked on during the season that's just doing a good job as well. You know, so and we, you know, we also signed two kickers that will come in with this class. We have to work a lot on special teams. We're not doing – as much with our kickers. We're doing a lot more of the, the work with the blue collar guys and the support cast. But with a guy like uh, Mostert back there, you have to work on kickoff returns. Mm -hmm. You know, we worked on those some today and really want to get a lot of work uh, and watch uh, Frankie Williams return punts. I think he could be a great punt returner for us. Well, Ricardo Allen had a big punt return today. So we are working on special teams. We are kicking the football. We're not working, our kickers aren't getting as many kicks. In, in practice, but uh, but we are working on special teams quite a bit. And it's kind of like Williams just being a guy who needs to step up for you this year, especially with the, the way your depth is at linebacker, at least right now. How is he better? Have you seen him kind of make strides already just from, you know, the, the bowl game until now? If you took his best game last year, because he, he was inconsistent some last year, a lot of new things. Uh, at times we wanted to treat our keys and reads at the linebacker position. We had some missed assignments throughout the course of the season. You know, we gave up some big plays, and, and there were many times that Will Lucas played really well, and sometimes he didn't play as well. And uh, when you didn't play as well, it was usually a result of, of, of mistakes, you know, assignments. And I think if you take his best game last year, I think he's practicing at that level just about on a daily basis. So I think he can be a great player this year if he keeps – he plays like he's practicing and performing in practice. He can be an outstanding player for us. He has really gotten a lot better. And he is you know, really into it right now. Very pleased with him. Very pleased with Bill Lucas. Who on the offensive line? You talked about some of the young guys. Well, we had guys today that were in the first time they've lined up in these positions. Okay, we had Pan file at left tackle, and he did very well. He has taken some steps. You know, he was new to the offensive line last year. The first game he played in was the Wisconsin game. He only been on offense for a couple of days, and it wasn't an easy coming out party. You know, in a lot of ways. But he's a great talent, and he's done a lot better at guard. And today we put him over there at left tackle. We felt like we had a better chance of him matching up uh, against our ends. You know, they're very good defensive ends, and he did a good job. And he can play guard or tackle for us. And if he continues to develop, uh, he could be a heck of a player for us. But we had Panfile at left tackle and Schmieg at center. And we had Kugler, uh, I mean, Schmieg at left guard, Kugler at center. And we had uh, uh, Cody Davis at right guard and uh, Josh Davis at right tackle. And then some of those guys had to work in with the two, some too, because we were really down offensive line wise. We had three starters out. And Those guys? Or, you know. Well, he got he got a stomach virus, you know, and got sick, and and they held him out, which is okay. You know, he didn't get hurt today. <laughs> you know, he he's been out there with a, with, a, with a shoulder, you know, and he's been sucking it up and going. And uh, today might have been good for him in the long run. I have a better second half of the spring if he was there than being out today.